Our environments are constantly impacting us, by the way, in two ways, right? When you think it's not, but it is, right? It facilitates or discourages our engagement with other people. So depending on where I grew up, I might have this mentality of, nah, don't mess with that person. Why? Because he's a nerd or she's a nerd. Or they live uptown. They, they could never understand me. They don't get me. They're not from where I'm from. They don't know what I have to go through. So these are the limitations, right, that we set. Which means we took away the opportunity to actually have a conversation with that person. Because they're so different, we didn't even entertain the idea. You know what I mean? And that's where people limit themselves. Right? So, the environment forces us to choose an action whether we do something or we don't do anything at all. And that's what your environment is going to do for you. Okay? Think about this example. Imagine like a dirty apartment with leftover food containers, dirty laundry and roaches, right? And all those things that you can envision. That apartment encourages the guests, the people who come over, to not remove their shoes <laughs> when they visit, right? Or it may even influence them to add more trash to the apartment because they figure whoever is living here does not care. So that's the mentality. And they're okay with that. That's what that apartment is going to right, encourage. But on the flip side, a clean apartment a clean apartment will encourage guests to ensure, right, that the space remains tidy. It may even remind others, you know, to sustain cleansiness in the, in the place. So you walk into a space, spick and span, you're going to come with the mentality of, ooh, I don't even want to touch anything. I might, you know, make it messy because it's so clean. You want to keep it that way. It encourages you to keep it that way. Whereas the dirty one encourages you to continue to pile it on. Right? A basketball team, for example, now, of, of young men ages 17 years, they might develop the attitude or the mindset of, I don't care. Right? Now, that attitude could be coming from the captain of that team or the, the most influential person of that team. And that attitude might be displayed towards the coach and even towards the rest of the team. But the captain, right, who has this attitude can influence the rest of the teammates to behave in the same manner if the coach doesn't address that behavior. Like, I'm talking immediately. Right? The minute you let it slide, it becomes a part of the culture. So if that coach doesn't address it immediately, now you got a problem. Now that same captain can have a positive influence on his team if he chooses. And that's what's important here. That's key. That's a choice. Right? The captain's internal you know, environment, his spirit must be healthy in order for him to positively influence other other people externally right outside of him so if my inside my spirit is is tainted and it's not clean it's not healthy it's not positive it's not for making others better or seeing others prosper then i'm gonna just work on tearing others down because that's the energy that i have internally in my spirit right and this is important because most of what we expect of others, right? Most of what we expect are our own projections and, and reflections of how we feel about ourselves. It's, it's true. It's true that we can't always choose our environments. But our, our environments will always choose us. And sometimes... It goes to the extent and the extreme of actually using us. Right? So your environment may use you if you allow it, 
or you can choose a different environment that you can use to benefit you. Okay? Because we have the ability to choose or decide the level of impact we allow our environments to have on our, our overall decisions. And that's, that's very important, knowing that you decide. 